Our default settings are located from our settings tab and either go into default from here or again we can right click on our screen and choose default settings. Here's our default setting general tab. Um, under here you can set your design file path to where you want it to save your Pro Kitchen design files. Um, in my case I save it under documents Pro Kitchen folder. We've got a bunch of options up here we can uh, fix dialogue icons. If you're having a problem with your dialogue icon, dialogue icon, yeah, huh? Showing up, I can't say it. Showing up correctly, you can click that button and that should correct those. Um, display path to the design file. That's going to display it across the top of our screen. You can see it up here. My display path to my design file. Um, auto save and auto backup. I recommend leaving both of those turned on. Um, auto save every five minutes, auto backup every ten minutes. That's just going to save you in case you have some sort of catastrophic disaster that causes your computer to either shut down, restart, whatever. Pro Kitchen to close, whatever. That should save your, your last design within five or ten minutes of when the error occurred anyways. Um, 3D mode, uh, you can change between your Direct 3D or your OpenGL and your computer. You have to restart Pro Kitchen to do either one of these. Uh, but if you're having images in, in your 3D images, maybe aren't turning out the way you think they should, you might want to try swapping over to a different uh, generator here and giving that a try. Uh, info panel, image or 3D. This is our info panel is taken that we're talking about here. Um, I have it set on 3D, so you see the 3D here. Um, uh, image would give you just the wire figure of it. Appearance, modern or classic. We're talking about our product navigator over here. Uh, last year we, last year I guess was the first of this year. Time flies. We re-updated the uh, look of this over here, so you can either choose your classic or modern. Scroller, mouse mode. Um, if you've got a touchpad mode, you may want to turn that on to optimize the touchpad on your on your laptop if you're using your touchpad. I'm not, so I'll leave it in mouse mode. Uh, display wall handles. Slide this over just a little bit. These are the handles that display when you click on a wall. Let me just show you here. Display wall handles. Here we go. These little green guys, those are our handles. Our cabinet, that's our handle right there. So that's what it's talking about. If you want to go change those. Now you can change the color of these too. If you don't like the green that we have and go in here and set something more obnoxious. Um, display cabinet handles. That's a little handle that comes off the back of the cabinet to pull it in and out. Um, again you can change the color. Display cabinet rotation handles. This one we don't have turned on as default. When you click on the cabinet it would give you not only this guy in the back but it would also give you ones on the corners so that you could click on a corner and rotate from that corner. Compact handles, I'll turn that on real quick, show you the difference. Compact handle, we've just taken the little handle and we've narrowed it down so it's just tiny. Same thing on the cabinet, you just see a little dot back there. So if you don't like those big handles sticking out everywhere, then you can certainly use the compact handle. Construction tab, here we can set our wall thickness. This is default for everything, not just for your particular design you're working on. Countertop, again, we can set our countertop default thickness, and again, this is for everything. So when you create a new design, um, any of these settings in here would show on that new design unless you changed them under the design settings. Moldings, again, if we set a molding in here, that's the molding that comes up when we click here. If you use the same molding over and over and over and over again for the job, for different jobs, all jobs, then definitely by all means set it in here that way you don't have to set it for each customer. Units again you can choose the unit of measurement that makes you the most happy. 3D these are the default 3D's again you can set these these do affect all designs all new designs anything that hasn't had the 3D set in so you can choose your favorites from here and put them in. Cabinets these are just basic. You probably don't want to mess with these, um, but you can. You can change the, the default sizes of some of your cabinets. This is more for using like the um, 
custom or sample catalog or if you've got 13 inch wall, deep wall cabinets you can set it in here customer report tax here you can set these in here you can set them as a default for every catalog that you have so if you're selling six square you can set it one way if you're selling bridge wood you can set it you know a different way and uh, this is default shows up in each plan and it'll show up according to how you set it for each um, catalog order by email this is if you use the order by email option you can choose what server to use for that um, the Pro Kitchen SMTP server that is set as default if you use your order by email and you don't change these settings and you get a message that says that the, you are not connected to the server then you need to come in here and change your server settings um, you can use just a standard SMTP server which would be like Hotmail, Google Mail, um, Yahoo Mail, whatever, whatever mail you want or, or your company email if you have company email. Um, Outlook Express, that's the easy way to do it if you've got, and it says Outlook Express but it's really all Outlooks so if you've got Outlook set up on your computer that one's easy, you just click the button and you're done it'll go and find all the information and use it. Um, attachments you can tell it what to attach to every design that you send out from order by email so it can send the design file which is always a good idea send that to the manufacturer so they can double check it um, your showroom file or your iPad Android file and then you can hide detail attachment format from the dialog so that they don't see that so we've gone through all of our tabs here we've taken just about seven minutes to work through default settings hopefully that clears up any questions you might have.